And welcome to the program. Joining me now, Clint O'Neill, Executive Director of the Arkansas Economic Development Commission. Welcome back. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, good to have you back with us again. Good to be here. Had a big week this week. We're going to talk about some of these announcements that are going on, but I want to start with the special session and tax cuts that's coming this following week right here. We're going to lower that personal income tax rate by about a half percentage point and corporate income tax rates. How does that help you in marketing the state of Arkansas for economic development projects? Well, it's, it's significant to us. It's our message to our, uh, all Arkansas business owners, business executives that are looking to Arkansas for a good place to do business that regardless of any incentive package, this benefits everyone. So is it different than what you've been marketing? Because we've been bringing it down. So, I mean, does this give you new ammunition? Does this put you in a different stratosphere in terms of when you look at surrounding states and its overall tax structure? How does that move the needle? Yeah, I think there is something big about going below 4%. And just the story of Governor Sanders has cut taxes twice, coming back for a third time. If you look back even further over the last 10 years of going from where we were at 7% to yep. now less than 4% on the individual side, down another half percentage point on the corporate side. It's, uh, it's sending a message that other states are not sending. Other states are sending this message that uh, we're having a tough time balancing our budget. The only way to make that up is to raise taxes. Our message is that we're, we're getting ready to lower taxes because we've been fiscally responsible. You want to see it get it even lower still? That's the plan. <laughs> uh, but you'd be all right with that. That'd give you more to work <laughs> Absolutely. with. Absolutely. I suspect. All right, let's talk about what has been going on this past week. I was with you at an event on um, Wednesday at Windsor Door, mm -hmm. $21 million expansion there. That's a great Arkansas company that's been around for decades and where they're going with things. Tell everybody a little bit about what Windsor Door is doing and why that investment was significant. Yeah, I think the neat thing about Windsor Door, it actually started in 1964 with the construction of a 200,000 square foot facility right here in, in Little Rock off Scott Hamilton through some uh, different uh, ownership acquisitions, uh, the, the Wright family, um, which has been the right family to, to leave. R I G H T. Right. Well, right. both. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but yes, uh, acquired the company and has done great things. So doubling the production. Uh, you know, a company like this who could manufacture anywhere, and they have a few facilities and, and several distributors, uh, home builders that are, that are their customers, uh, the, the, these garage doors for commercial use as well, to double their production to invest $21 million in Little Rock. It, it, it's a sign of confidence that the workforce here in Arkansas is getting the job done for them, that the business climate facilitates growth. Uh, so I told a little bit of a story at the announcement how we went from uh, the 37th governor of the state of Arkansas, who at the time went to Rockefeller, was chairman of the Arkansas Industrial Development Commission, uh, was a part of recruiting that original facility. And there we were this week with the 47th governor, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, celebrating this, this expansion. Just takes 10 governors to get it done. <laughs> so no, that's a, it was a great story. It was a good event, too. And the thing that impressed me the most is, I mean, you've seen some struggles in the housing market because of the interest rate hikes over the last... Uh, you know, a couple of years here, several months, and yet their s demand is still strong, strong enough that it would allow for a $21 million investment. That was impressive to me, so. Uh, absolutely, and then uh, when, when you had them on the couch, I, I think you got, got uh, a little bit more out of them as in terms of future <laughs> investment and, and their outlook, but uh, they're doing great as a company, uh, serving their customers well, a great workforce here in Little Rock. I did that for you just so you would be able to go back to them and ask them if they want to expand again. So appreciate that. Also in Conway on Thursday, West Rock Coffee opens their $315 million manufacturing mm -hmm. facility. I took a, a tour of that before the press uh, event. It's an impressive facility. And the thing that struck me as incredible there, they've built it in a way that they can continue to expand, which is obviously in their game plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another story of a great Arkansas entrepreneurial family, the Ford family. Uh, so we had Joe Ford, Scott Ford, and Will Ford all there on the stage with Governor Sanders telling the story of the, the foundation of West Rock Coffee. Such an inspirational story, um, how it helps Arkansans with jobs, a, a great consumer product, and, uh, and, and helps coffee growers around the world. You never will uh, complain either about 900 new jobs in the state of Arkansas as well. So Not at all. What's your expectation for how big they could become? Because mine is that, I mean, they're already a pretty big 
world influencer on some things with the way that they've uh, adopted their philosophy and where they are in the marketplace. I sense that world domination is their goal. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, there, were, there was talk I at mean, the event. I mean, in a good way. So, right, you know. right. Of not only being the, the strongest, uh, you know, coffee and tea extract company, but, but one of the top beverage companies in the world. And, they, you know, they already announced two expansions before the grand opening event as when they announced it the first time they had so much consumer demand that they realized they can't do manufacturing and distribution all in this facility. Uh, went uh, just just down the road to build a distribution center and now opening over a million square feet in Conway for yeah. manufacturing and distribution. Yeah. It's a great success story. People need to keep their eye on that as well. It hasn't been all good news, so I mean, I got to throw a little uh, pepper in with the salt here. Uh, Hino Motors over in East Arkansas announces they're going to shut down their facility over there. 1,300 jobs mm -hmm. are going to be lost. I think it's a couple of years before it winds down. What's AEDC's role in trying to help transition some of those workers to new places? Sure. Uh, we're very engaged with the local leadership team in Marion as well as the government affairs team with Hino. They report right now that they'll be in operation until mid to late 2027. So there's not a lot that we can do now, but you certainly begin to lay the groundwork as, as we've had others, unfortunately, in the last year that have announced layoffs. But several resources within the Department of Commerce from uh, workforce services and how we help those transitioning employees. Uh, the good news is it's a great job market. If, if there was ever a time, and it's always incredibly uh, sad news and, and tragic when we have these job losses, uh, but there's a lot of employers that are growing, looking for good talent. And so I'm confident that uh, with our workforce development initiatives, we can help train these Arkansans and help them find good opportunities. Still, when I look at the numbers, I still feel like it's two steps forward to one step back versus the opposite. We, we've been through some cycles sure. years ago where right. it was one step forward and two steps back, and that wasn't nearly as much fun. Tell me a little bit about the AEDC site program. This is something new that you guys have launched, uh, I think, to help, again, with your marketing purposes of what's available in Arkansas. Yeah, absolutely. Really excited about this. First of its kind, Arkansas Site Development Program, something we started talking with the Sanders administration about early on, uh, last uh, general session in 2023, finally are here where we have the rules approved, uh, getting the money transferred uh, next week. Uh, we've rolled out the application process. This is for Arkansas community and local economic development organizations who have ownership of sites that they can apply for grants to develop those sites before a prospect gets here. So before you bring in a prospect and you say, use your imagination what this site would look like if the trees were cleared and the infrastructure was actually here. You bring them in, you've got a cleared, graded site. It's much more attractive to prospects. Yeah, all right, we've got about a minute left here. Give me a little bit about what, uh, I always ask you to read the crystal ball and tell me what's, uh, what do you see in the pipeline? So last time we sat down a few months ago, it was the busiest you've ever seen it. I'm, I'm hoping it's busier still, but if it's just still busy, I'm probably pretty good with that too. <laughs> well, I, th I think it's at an all-time high. It's, it's, uh, it seems to be one of those years, it's a presidential election year, which typically puts some large capital investment projects on hold. Uh, we're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of things kind of stuck in the pipeline, really eager for some good jobs announcements. Uh, we'll definitely have some in the coming months, so stay tuned for that. But uh, a lot of good projects, uh, I think a handful of, of site visits over the next two weeks alone of companies coming in to look at Arkansas. So it's, uh, it, it, it's an exciting time in economic development. I know you can pick your statistics however you want to, but there are some pretty good national economic trends out there too. Inflation's coming down, jobs still um, remain strong, uh, consumer spending still extremely healthy. I mean, these are things that we would be happy about. So. Sure. Yeah. All right. We got to wrap it up there. He's Clint O'Neill. He is the executive director of the Arkansas Economic Development Commission. Always good to visit with you. Thanks, sir. All right. Appreciate it, Roby.